Sharon Love has now devoted her life to getting the word out about domestic violence through the One Love Foundation. ABC 2 News' Christian Schaefer sat down with Love for an exclusive interview about the loss of her daughter, the trial, and what she's doing now to try to reach out and prevent another tragedy. Yeah, yes. Kelly, it's now been nearly two and a half years since the murder of Yardley Love in her apartment in Charlottesville, Virginia. And after enduring the loss of her daughter and the trial of the man who killed her, for Sharon Love, working to make more people aware of the potential dangers of domestic violence is quite literally a labor of love. When I look at pictures now, I, I love to see your pictures, but it's bittersweet because I know there will be no more <laughs> pictures coming. These are never before seen photos of Yardley Love, a girl who grew up in Cockeysville, loving lacrosse and dreaming of playing for the University of Virginia Cavaliers. She lived the dream and was just three weeks away from graduating when she was murdered. I'm sure there are so many other girls out there right now that feel the same way we did, that we had no idea that people were capable of this kind of evil. Now she knows. And now Yardley Love's mother, Sharon, has embraced the role she's been thrown into, the role of activist. Here, she's making a public service announcement about the dangers of domestic violence against young women. I knew nothing about domestic violence till this happened to us. And I wish we had had more knowledge about it. Yardley had been dating George Hughley, a men's lacrosse player at UVA, but after several violent, drunken incidents that were later documented in court, she broke up with him. She didn't put up with anything, um, and so she left. She left him, and ultimately that's why he did what he did, I think. May 2nd, 2010 was a Sunday. George Hughley spent nearly the entire day drinking. Then around midnight, he went to Yardley Love's apartment, kicked down her bedroom door and assaulted her. He took her computer and then left the room where she died. Hughley was arrested later that morning. The trial earlier this year lasted nearly three weeks every day, agonizing for Sharon Love. His appearance when we first saw him was entirely different than than what I knew him to look like. She believes Hughley's defense attorneys wanted to make the hulking lacrosse player look smaller for the jury. He had morphed into a young boy again, and um, he was presented that way in court. But On purpose, you think? I think so. Mm -hmm. He was, his jacket was too big, his, his seat was lower than his attorney's seat. So I, I do think that was intentional. The strategy was not successful. The jury convicted Hughley of second-degree murder. Hughley spoke to the Love family at his sentencing, telling them he was sorry for their loss and that he hopes and prays they find peace. When he addressed us, I, I think it would probably have been better had he just not said anything to us. Sharon Love praised prosecutor Dave Chapman, who broke down emotionally several times during the trial and then again after the sentencing. All I see is loss. It'll be that way forever. There, you know, it's such a rough approximation. Uh, we just wish that it, it didn't happen. Hughley was sentenced to 23 years in prison with time served and good time credits. He's likely to be released around the time he's 40 years old. What is enough? I don't know what's enough. Um, nothing's enough. Nothing will bring Yardley back, so. Um, but I try not go there, think about that. As this public service announcement from the One Love Foundation points out, research from the National Institute of Justice shows that one in three women, one in three, will be a victim of domestic violence in their lifetime. Sharon Love says she can only wish she had known more about what to look out for. Maybe we were all too naive and didn't realize what was possible or what other people were capable of. I think. Yardley saw the good in everyone and probably ignored the bad for too long. Um, and if, if that is a mistake, that was her mistake. And that's why the One Love Foundation has become more than just a fundraising, publicity generating group. Its smartphone app has just been released. It was developed with the help of the Johns Hopkins School of Nursing, and it allows anyone to plug information into their smartphone about what's happening in their relationship or in the relationship of someone they care about. And they can find out whether they should be concerned. Our app will give people the tool to assess that and, and move on from there.
Sharon Love isn't moving on. She can't. Her little girl was taken away. But she can put all of her efforts into keeping another family from having to go through what she has. I'm hoping Yardley's story will be a catalyst to, for others to look more closely at their relationship and, and do something about it. A Yardley Love sister Lexi is getting married next weekend, so a happy and a busy time for the family, but it will obviously be an emotional time for them as well. But you know, despite all that, they're very focused on the message. Today, the One Love Foundation released that public service announcement. Yeah, it is. They're calling it the B1 for Change program, trying to further educate people on how to combat domestic violence. It sent chills up my spine. Very, very powerful message. Take a look. Friends with who? One in three women are victims of relationship violence, and it's often ignored by those who could help but don't. The One Love Foundation created a revolutionary app that makes it impossible to ignore relationship violence. Based on research undertaken at the Johns Hopkins University School of Nursing, this app helps victims, friends, and family make an assessment and determine the threat. It's anonymous, free, and can save lives. Be one for change. Join One Love. That is a powerful message. It was produced here locally. Some parallels in that PSA to the Yardley Love case itself. If you watched it, a number of people, most notably George Hughley's friends, potentially could have stepped up, but they didn't in this case. The next step for the foundation is to work on getting that PSA distributed more widely across the country. Yeah, very strong lady. Yeah. Good work. Thanks a lot, Christian. Now, we posted that whole PSA. Be one for change on our website here at abc2news.com. We also have a link to the One Love Foundation where you'll be able to learn more about this cause. You can download that mobile app and join the One Love Foundation.